the story it was there an aching inside your heart was the love that you felt too great to just keep to yourself yeah cause you called it good you called us human made in your image made for communion and when you breathed into dust you put more than wind in our lungs All right. Sean, great performance, man. Thank you. Um, I love this song and uh, just so much about it. The lyric, mm. um, the tempo. Like there's so many things that, that make this song work in church. We need know? fast songs. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately. <Yeah. laughs> um, but man, yeah, talk about this song a little bit because uh, there's so mm. many really just really cool moments in this song lyrically but talk about a little bit of inspiration and just why you why you wrote it sure i think i love the genesis account you know one and two where all this started where all this is going it's just so beautiful to me and i i get the the picture that god was really pumped on what he was doing you know mm -hmm. like every time every time he'd set something into motion he called it good you know and I just love I love getting the sense that he was smiling as he was creating all of this. Wow. And then he, he calls us very good, you know, and we get this sense that as humans, something deep in the core of our humanity is a need and a desire to be in union with God. We've been made that way. That's how it reads. That's how it feels. And so we we're trying to figure out in the song how to how to bring that to the surface. Uh, I can't live without you. Like it, we need more than oxygen to live. Mm -hmm. We need something more. We've been made to, to embrace the invitation of God into a relationship, into a, a union, you know? And so, so much of the, the imagery and the, the verses kind of hits that topic uh, in the beginning before the start, was there an aching in your heart? Was the love that you felt too great to just keep to yourself? Mm. It's like, God just can't wow. help but yeah. great let picture. it out. You know, invite us into it. And um, yeah, so I, I, I love that it's got a tempo too, something right off, the, right off the bat that you can sing over people, activate some faith, you know, even just 
stomping your feet and clapping your hands, it's more than just a movement. I think for a lot of us, yeah. it's it's a way that we can shake the dust off from the week and we can kind of settle into what God's doing and in this moment, you know? And so it's it's just important, I think, to be able to invite people into something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And, you know, of course, then the bridge just says you're, you're bringing us back to the garden. Like there's... There's something happening here that we're a part of. And you we did a lot to screw it up, but the story isn't over, you know. Yeah. You you've done a lot to set it right. And so yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah, and it's like the 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 story of God is all about trying to get us back yes. to where we started. <laughs> yes. You know? Yeah. And uh and talk a little bit about the second verse. You didn't you didn't we didn't just sing to shorten it. the song, you didn't do the second <laughs> verse. But uh, but the lyric in that second verse is amazing. Yeah. It's my um, favorite lyric, actually. We kind of talked through that because I think it really points to, I mean, obviously to the Genesis story, but yeah. there's there's some big ideas even underneath that about humanity and like who we are and how we relate to God. Yes. It, yeah. My, so my favorite lyric in the song is, I started dying when I started hiding my face. Mm. And I think it just, well, it it speaks to how we got to where we are, I think. Um, God doesn't do the hiding. We we did that. We we did the hiding. Um, but he, the whisper of the Father, never stopped. And he's he's setting this right. And he's he's setting things right. And so I just I love that there's a there's a p- portion of the song that just ha- we have to kind of admit what happened, um, and it creates an opportunity for freedom for God to come in and bring us back. Totally. You know. Uh, yeah. And I think about that, you know, just, you know, in a congregation on a Sunday morning. Yeah. How many people sitting out there feel distant from God? Yeah. Feel like I can't return. I'm hiding. Mm. Like you said, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm hiding and turning away, you know, which is the enemy's plan is to separate yes. God's people from himself, you know. And um, But what a powerful statement to just declare over and sing as a congregation. Yeah. Well, because the lyric right after that says, but you knew the story, you had a plan. Exactly. The fallout was not the end. You know, it just hope. Hope is always there. Yeah. Under the surface. Mm. So it's cool. Man, so powerful. Walk us through uh, just chord wise what you're playing and give us a little roadmap. Sure. It's simple. I I do it in C, right? Yeah. Um, (laughs) We do it in C. So the... The rest of us would do it in like A. Oh yeah, like, it's a, it's, it might be a little high. <laughs> Just have yeah, have a high voice, you know. So the chords are simple. The intro is just a one, and then it's just big. Just play it as big as you can, and a four, and it's the same as the chorus. Six to the five to the four. So that's the chorus. That's the intro. Same thing. And the verse starts on a one. And it goes to a six, to a four, and back to a one. So it's pretty simple. And then, so then the only other change in the whole song is in the bridge, and it starts on the six. So six, you're bringing us back to the garden, to a five, to a one over three. So it's a one chord, but with an E in the bass here. You're bringing us back to your heart again. To a four. And you just build that puppy, you know, yeah. all the way home. Yeah. Man. Well, thanks for sharing the song. I, I can't wait for the church to yeah. start singing it. And I think it's going to be really powerful. So thank you. Yeah, man. I can't leave.